former middleweight champion and fan favorite Israel Adesanya finally breaks his silence following his shock defeat to Sean Strickland at UFC 293. Super Sadiq Yusuf set to make his return against Edwin Barbosa, but he did reveal that he found himself in a pretty sticky situation with one of Drikos Duplessis' teammates as regards his stance on Duplessis' take of wanting to be the real African champion. Dana White has provided updates as regards his plan for the middleweight division and for Israel Adesanya. Expected time of return and a little bit more fight announcements moving forward. All right, the Olympics 2024 is just around the corner. The names that will be flying the flag for Africa as regards the combat sports category have been made official. All right, guys, I'm Toby with the African Fighters. Welcome again to another episode with the African Fighters. And I will be taking you through everything that you might have missed in the world of combat sports as regards African Fighters. <music> All right, all right, all right. Now, where best to begin than with the former middleweight champion and fan favorite Israel Adesanya? Yes, he has broken his silence. We had not heard anything from him for a while after his loss to Sean Strickland at UFC 293. Shocking defeat. Probably the biggest upset in the UFC in a long, long time. Yes, eyes were glued to the Style Benders YouTube channel, Freestyle Bender. I must say, I was really happy to see this episode because you could see that Easy was still there. You know, he's still the same person. Um, for a minute there, we could not recognize who we were watching post-fight, you know, the interview and everything he was saying after. But but this episode on the Freestyle Bender, you know, you could see that the real um, Easy is still there. Of course, he was not too happy. Um, obviously, he just lost to Sean Strickland, somebody he would have hated, hated to lose to. But um, he's still in good spirit, he's still there. And here's part of the interview. Just wasn't able to like just get my rhythm because of his pressure. He was right there constantly. And whenever I was setting him up because he's right there, then his coach would help him. And I'd be like, fuck. And yeah, it was just good game plan from their end. But also for me, I wasn't able to adjust on the fly. I wasn't able to adjust on the fly. And can break that down another time but no nah, it was just it was his night it was his night and yeah he got it done i made another dream come true all right and now the long-awaited return of super sadiq yusuf is around the corner he will be headlining ufc fight night against barbosa as they both will be looking to break into the top 10 Yusuf has been away for a while and in his interview with Middle Easy he broke down you know a couple of things that have kept him out of the octagon um, the injuries, you know, the delayed time of recovery and all that. He also gave us a take on a pretty interesting situation as to when he got a DM from one of Drakus' teammates. Yes, this is what he had to say. Very touchy. I, I, Of course, I didn't like it at all. You know, I'm also yeah. an immigrant, you know, and mm -hmm. a lot of us left our country because there's, it's kind of, we need a better opportunity mm -hmm. elsewhere. So <laughs> whenever you hear somebody talking like that to people that had to leave their like to be honest nigeria is kind of decimated by colonization you know so <laughs> hearing somebody talk about from south africa talk about yeah. that where it, it's it's very very tricky it's yeah. very very tricky i don't i don't think there's anybody that would be okay with that one of his teammates got in my dm and <laughs> what happened there man I, this I don't know. This guy was convinced that I was some privileged American that oh, don't no. understand the struggles of Africa. I was like, well, I, I don't think this guy knows what he's talking about. So you just got to let it ride. But ho hopefully that teammate doesn't represent how him and his teams are. It might just be a random one off weirdo. But yeah, it's. It was given real colonization vibes, you know? <laughs> yeah. As even long after that encounter between Israel Adesanya and Drikos Duplessis had occurred, people are still having, people are still feeling some type of way, you know, feeling really weird about the entire situation. Um, luckily or unluckily, we did not get to see that fight before Easy lost the title. Will we still get to see it down the line? Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Staying with Drikos Duplessis, Jared Canyonier has been talking. Yes, 
Of course, he was the backup fighter for Easy vs. Streetland. He has fought himself into a really, really good position. And in his interview with Sports Kida, he was asked about the Dracos to play C situation. And here is what he had to say. I didn't. Did Dennis say that? I don't think I heard Dennis. I heard a few other people say that. No, D- Dennis, Dennis specifically said that like he basically missed his opportunity um, because of the injury that he had um, in, in not taking uh, this fight, which a lot of fans were. Well, like, that's the nature of the yeah. sport. We've seen that yeah. happen play out. If you get injured, injured, the UFC isn't going to be like, okay, let's wait for him because you know he did this in his last fight. The UFC essentially rolls on. You'll be still in good and better standing than you were before, mm-hmm. but you know what I'm saying. Um, that you know that's a common that's a commonality right mm-hmm. same thing goes with me you know what i mean if i miss this opportunity who knows if it's going to come again right he also made reference to the fact that he does have offers on the table yes the ufc have offered him a fight but he is waiting and he is taking his time to see how that championship opportunity develops if it comes his way he will be ready and if it does not he says he will definitely fight somebody else down the pecking order. Yes, it is no secret that Dana White loves, loves Israel Adesanya. Yes, when somebody makes you so much money and puts your organization on his back for the amount of years that Easy has done, you're definitely going to have some love for him. Dana White has been talking. Yes, he was asked about Israel Adesanya's situation and the situation with the middleweight division. And this is what he had to say. Have you had a chance to speak to Israel Adesanya yet? We're still kind of waiting. To I speak. have not. I know he's in L.A. right now working on some stuff, but no, I haven't talked to him. Does it, are you waiting to hear from him before you decide what to do at middleweight? No, no, no. Listen, he's one of the things we were talking about this this week, too, that we always love about Israel Israel was willing to fight anybody, anywhere, anytime, loved to turn around quickly and, and fight again. And when he wants to fight, he'll let us know. All right, now the 2024 Olympics are just around the corner. Africans around the world will be representing and flying the flags for their respective countries in the biggest competition in the world, the Olympics, as old as time. The qualifiers for the African Boxing Edition went down in Dakar, Senegal. And just as you expect, the North Africans still rule this sport in this part of the world. Andrea led the way by grabbing 7 out of the 18 available spots to the Olympics. We also had 3 fighters from Egypt, 3 fighters from Morocco, and 2 fighters from Tunisia. The only West African country to grab a spot to the Olympics in the boxing event was Nigeria. And yes, Nigeria did have 3 boxers grabbing a ticket. To the Olympics, Cynthia Ogushemilori, Omoli Dolakpo, and Olaiton Adams are the three names who will be representing Nigeria in the Olympics in the boxing category. This Olympic has been in my dreams for long, and I know with everything I've been doing, I'm going to conquer it. And this is the time for me. This is the time for me to shine. This is the time for me to be the world champion. For people to know me. This is the time my name will ring. My family name will ring. And I'm very happy with it. I'm so so. Well. So for us bringing this to the country, I know the guys they need to compensate for it. They need to compensate because it's not easy. Moving on from boxing to wrestling, Nigeria's female freestyle wrestler Odoanyo Adekoroye has booked a ticket and will be competing in the Olympics. Yes, she will be hoping to medal this time after failures at the last two Olympics edition. She was looking good in qualifiers, only to lose to the world number one, which is entirely no shame. She did finish with a bronze medal and will be heading to the Olympics. All right, now from Olympics boxing and wrestling to African boxing. Yes, Go TV Fight Night is back. Fly Kite Boxing is back. And the fight list for this one is pretty impressive. Gentle Boy Taiwo will be taking on Energy Ganiyu. In the women's division, the Pretty Assassin will throw down with Black Tito. We will see Power Araban B take on the Turning Star. And another really good fight to look forward to will be Latest Aziz taking on ability emmanuel all right now moving away from all of that yes if you have not been paying attention dana white has announced some really really big big fights to look forward to the end of the year is looking super super exciting dana white has dropped some 
bombs. Yes, we are still to see the light heavyweight championship on the line. We are going to see the welterweight championship on the line. We're going to see the heavyweight championship on the line. There is so much more to look forward to for fight fans this year. It's been an amazing, amazing year. And these are the announcements by Dana White. You know the main event for UFC 295 on November 11th in New York is John Jones, the GOAT and reigning heavyweight champion. And he is defending his title against the former champ and the greatest heavyweight of all time, Stipe Miocic. Former light heavyweight champion Yuri Prohaska faces former middleweight champ Alex Pereira for the vacant 205-pound title. Leon Edwards versus Colby Covington will headline our last pay-per-view of the year with the welterweight title on the line. In the co-main event for UFC 296, UFC flyweight champion Alessandre Pantoja faces number four, Brandon Royval. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for staying with us. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave your comments in the comment section, and we will see you in another video.